<laughs> Today we're uh, celebrating 113 years of excellence from my fraternity Alpha by Alpha, Fraternity Incorporated. Thank me wise, I got all my boys in the building. And we're living. Uh, we're putting the mustard on there. That's the basic we're gonna put around the chicken. It's gonna help to capture all the flavors and the seasonings that we added on there. We did a little salt and pepper, all purpose seasonings, um, some minced garlic, uh, a little cayenne pepper, and uh, some paprika just for coloring. How is it life after college? Life after fraternity. We got all got kids now. Yeah. We got families. Yeah. Niggas married. Is it hard? Is that one thing that might teach you the discipline? It teach you how to deal with stress. That's Ooh, one thing. Yeah, for sure, yeah. right? Oh yeah, man. Patience, man. So oh, man, you know, you don't have, you don't have the stress. Yo, that's what but you gotta make sure you gotta go with that at all times. So uh, you just gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with it, man. <laughs> First things first. Hi. Scholars, the doctors, the lawyers, all the way to principals and high schools. How the don't pass you lead the boys talk about it. After the song, believe the girls talk about it. Damn girl, you never seen a brush send it out, giving women props like a water club. Man. All, right, but all you gotta do is flip out the stage. Bro, I know how to drive. Hey, right, be careful though, them shorts. I got a whole ass family, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Sam. Get your bitch ass back. <laughs> I didn't expect them to come. You want to welcome, 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 to, welcome, welcome to 510, 30 Muse Finest. I got my Dean in here. Hey. I got motherfucking CJ. I got the five. I got my deuce. I got my lovely link right here. You know what I'm saying? We got the food. Yeah, That's man. All we need. Yeah, so uh, since while we, while we here, let's just go around real quick. What's up, Carl? Yeah, they came back quick. That's just not what I was talking about. Hey, what was the question? Uh, three vices? You said uh, Sam. We we'll start off. Um, what three? Give me, give me two, two, uh, two pros and cons of pledging. Cons. I really can't think of any cons. Shit, right I now. can take a one. Remember all that money we spent? <laughs> all that damn money we spent. Oh uh, nah, yeah. I got no, but that that's actually a pro because it taught me. It taught me to make sure I knew what was important. Mm. So. Pros, I, I don't. I don't have any cons. What about you, bro? Yeah. So, Cons, the, 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 the life balance back in school, shit, the fucking, uh, that's the main thing, just the work-life balance back in school, just to 
Because nowadays it's not really no cons. The pros is just, I agree. Like you said, for the yeah. pros is pretty much a lifelong brotherhood yeah. that you make with everybody. You know what I mean? Not even just a far all, all of Greek life. That's always a good bond. Seeing people who, who Greek all around the world is always a good thing. So that feels good meeting anybody in the Greek life at all. Yeah, everybody didn't have to work and go through the process, you know what I'm saying? But if you have to do both, yeah. I'm like, whoa, man. Waking up in the morning, you got to go to class. I got to go to class. I got to go to class. Then I got to work. Then, then I got yeah, to awesome. memorize. Yeah. Then I got to memorize this history that history. I'm going to forget. You know, when, I, menu. when, when I freeze up. I'm going to tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing for me. For DJ, a dean. A 510 dean. What's the deal? The dean. Yeah. The dean of 510. Dean Big Brother, sir. Stay the muse finest. Oh he tell us, tell us something about, tell us something about three things you struggle at with being bread. a black man. Oh man, you got bread? Uh, <laughs> nah, yeah, in the house. <laughs> tell us three things Jesus. about uh, you might struggle or think about, or you know, just some advice. You know, just as far as being a black man, being in college, life after college, struggling, uh, anything. Pussy. <laughs> nah, that's a good, that's a good point. Nah, that's real. That's though. a good point. Nah, real talk. Uh, Women, money, and drugs, alcohol, you know, whatever you do, you know what I'm saying, everybody has their advice, but I think the main struggle of men in society today is based upon those three things. Let's say, okay, okay, so you, you mentioned vagina. What do you think that um, after after uh, after you pledge, is that something that that promoted it? Is it nah, something that, that, that handed it? Me and you had this conversation the other day. Now you I know just how met you. Nah, <laughs> not, not that you just brought this up. You know how I feel about sex. I feel like sex is like detrimental to the society. I think sex is only meant for procreation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you I think, think do that, you think do you think being in college, being involved in the fraternity, is all of that? Is that promoted? Does it put it in your face? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? We picking and choosing as soon as you cross. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, come I on. Look, take, speak look, your mind. Speak look, your mind. Honey, look, I love you, but you know. Okay. So, uh, nah, but no, nah, really, no. Honestly, like, I think you kind of peer pressured into that body count. Yeah. What can we do as black men to, you know, Maybe change some of that stigma. Maybe more right, that go. I'm about to leave a little bit. Uh. Damn. Okay. We haven't thought about that answer. Nah, nah, nah. We'll be right back with your lips. I'd rather be in there. I'm gay. I'm gay. Changed up the menu. I had to Google some some vegan recipes, yeah, it's, it's um, tough. specifically for you. Yeah. What, I mean, what made you decide to want to become vegan, and what are the benefits that you feel in yourself and your day to day life? I mean, basically just clean living. I mean, a lot of toxins, and, you know, things that are going into the meat and the food that we have. I mean, nothing against meat either, because I mean, I was eating meat, yeah, you know, before then, but. Just trying to cleanse my body, just, you know, put things in my body that were meant for me. That was the main thing that I looked up. Do you feel any, any difference in your uh, your day to day when you wake up you I have mean, more energy? I mean, honestly, it, it, energy-wise, like, I have way more energy than I used to have before. That was another thing, too, like, I was kind of lacking, starting to lack energy. But then I noticed I was just eating whatever, you know, so. Once I started switching over to more vegan diet, just a plant-based diet, and research things. I researched for a while, you know, to see the benefits and, you know, with that doctor. I don't honestly miss like eating meat because I'm, I'm not missing anything from it. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, I feel better than I did before. You grab me one of these steaks, but I'm yeah. taking yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, just try it. Thank you very much, man. Just try it. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about it, man, but you know.
Okay, okay, okay. We got my boy Ahmed. Ahmed Blanc. Yeah, yes, yes. What do you have over here? What you bring to the What you bring to the table? I brought y'all some African delicacies. It's from the A though. This was this from the A. Okay. This is called jollof rice. Cause y'all boys don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> So so what what uh what's what's the what's the history behind this this meal that you so, about to reveal? You know in Nigeria, right? Yeah. We broke. Mm -hmm. So we be eating rice because that's the easiest thing to grow. Beans mm -hmm. and rice. That's all we that's all we eat. Mm -hmm. And then we grow some tomatoes and some peppers. So we mix up blend up the tomatoes and the peppers, mix it into the rice. That's the two things we can make. And there you have it. Mm -hmm. Boom! Oh, 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 oh. Plantain on the side. There we go. There we go. Dip, digging there, digging there. Mm. Mm. Is that my mama's but You know. Okay. 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 Hello. Come back in here. Come yeah, back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to your mom. Okay. No. 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 Okay. So. 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 What do we have? How do you prepare this meal? And uh, why is it? Important? I, I got a real question. All right. Look. <laughs> no. Real. Okay. Every time they have to make food, they get a little bit of sauce and a lot of rice. So it's quick. spicy. Yeah. That's a real. You don't know that spicy. It's spicy right here. No. Why is just a little bit. It always be like that's just for the dressing. You don't need the you don't need the spice. It's really for the rice. Yeah, yeah. It's just for the rice. The rice is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it's white rice, then yeah, you need the stew. But since it's jollof, there's already stew in it. You know, we're going in on stew. What's up, stew? That's my first time tasting this. It's good, huh? You don't want to get lost. Very flavorful. Very flavorful. That nigga slushes some of that shit. Good man. Welcome to Africa. That nigga start talking to my mama and say, "How you make this shit?" Nigga, I went to his house. Hey, his mama showed me how she. I stood in the kitchen for hours. That's one important thing that you have to that you have to learn about being in a fraternity. Uh huh. You gonna meet some. Some some people you probably met, some people you never met before in your life, but they're gonna teach you they walk because you got to. At least if you date a mute, you're gonna learn a lot about the people that you sit around and you live with every day. Yep. And you meet different cultures and they put you on things, you put them on things, and you find like little staples in the culture that make us this one big melting pot right here. Yeah, all right. That's what y'all back up out of there. That's for me. Now, that's not your whole plate. Bro, that's what he bought it for, he knows. Everybody like, trying to pay for that? Who you got? <laughs> You don't even eat meat. You don't even eat meat. That's off, bro. Stop playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happy free. Hey, what's the next one? Happy free. Hey, bro, you really ghost, bro. Get out of the line, bro. Oh, yeah, you can't. <laughs> Swine in there, you know what I'm saying? But just for the healthy, healthy brother. And um, down there, we got, we got some stuff you see later. <sighs> Welcome back to Chip Slips. Happy Founders Day to all of the alphas across the world. Uh, the Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, ice cold, that of me, Trips Whips. Mm -hmm. 